guys, happy Swatch Fest Day, happy Saturday. I hope you're in the middle of a really great weekend. I know sometimes you're watching on Saturday, sometimes Sunday, depending on how early I get this up on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I hope you're just having a really great weekend, enjoying yourself, enjoying maybe a little downtime, hopefully, and you're ready to look at some polish with me. So, as usual, I have 10 great polishes here. Well, you know, maybe some of them are great, some maybe not so great, we'll have to see. Um, but we're just gonna take a look at them, swatch them, and have a little chit chat. So, um, I do wanna talk about one thing not nail polish related, and that's because I feel like um, usually on the days when I wear like a copper eyeshadow like I'm wearing today, I often get the question about what um, I'm wearing on my eyes, and I think it's because I have blue eyes, so for some reason the copper shadow just really, the contrast just really makes it more evident <laughs> than any other makeup days. Um, I did want to talk about it though because I will probably get asked, so I just wanted to mention it's a uh, eyeshadow out of this Vice Limited Edition palette here. I was gifted this palette by my husband for Valentine's Day and the shadow that I'm wearing is up here in this corner here and it's called Heat and it's a really great copper and as a copper lover because it's a shadow that I like to wear with my eye color I totally recommend this um, well palette in general but um, it has a really really great orangey copper in here which I really like and also the um, the gold in here is really good too so here's the gold and here is the copper and again, that one there is called Heat, and the gold is called Blitz. And they also have a really cool, like, super bright pink in there, which you don't see a lot in um, collections. So I'm also wearing um, this one here. Oh, the pink is called Junk Show, by the way. And then I'm wearing this kind of, like, iridescent white with this purple pole. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that get out of the way anyway that one's called road stripe and I didn't even know it had like this iridescent purple feel to it um but super great I wanted to mention it oh I could see myself double um because <laughs> it was a gift for my husband sorry I'm trying to get the ring light out of there um so that's what it looks like um just another great palette from Urban Decay and um while I'm at it I will go ahead and mention the other present that I received for Valentine's Day because I'm very excited about it. You're all going to think that I'm a big dork because this is actually my first perfume that I've actually owned a bottle of because I just, I don't know, I don't think to buy perfume for myself and so this is the first time I've been gifted a perfume and um, Tim's so sweet and he hears me talk about this perfume a lot and it's the Juicy Couture. I like the gold um, well, it's the uh, Viva La Juicy from Juicy Couture, and it looks like this. It's so cute. It's not new or anything. They have a bunch of different flavors that are new flavors, <laughs> scents that are new. Um, but I think I, this original one is my favorite. And I know it doesn't say that it's, um, like, peachy, but it smells peachy to me. So, anyway, I really like that, and I wanted to mention it because Tim, um, he always likes to surprise me. So he, like remembers when I say that I like stuff and then he like writes it down and he is so much harder to shop for because he doesn't like want stuff that I feel like I'm qualified to pick up like he probably wants like technology stuff and I don't know how to make sure I'm getting the right thing for that so I just got him a massage and a sauna trip on <laughs> well by the time you see this he will already have had it so hopefully um he really really liked it but he definitely needs some downtime and have a massage so that's what I got for him. We had a really lovely Valentine's Day with our kids, and so that's that. I just did want to mention that because I will probably be asked about that color right there. So let's get started, okay guys? Um, for red, I have another red from the Gwen Stefani Holiday Collection, and this is called In a Holidays, and um, it's just a great deep red. I mean, seriously guys, that collection had so many reds, I'm not even sure really why I picked them up. I just kept finding them in clearances at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But it's definitely more of like a Crelly formula, which in a red, I really like. Um, 
I don't know, there's something about like a juicy, squishy red that is just so appealing. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how that one applies and you can take a look and see if it's worth it if you see it in any clearance bins. So again, this is in a holiday, so let me show you. Okay, for pink, I'm gonna show you Sally Hansen Sugar Coat in Pink Sprinkle. Um, yeah, this one, I, I don't know why I didn't have this yet, but I did find it in, where was it? Like a Big Lots or something. This one is actually kind of sheer at two coats. I still couldn't quite get the opacity that I liked, which, um, hmm, you know, if you're not a nail polish hoarder like me, <laughs> I definitely would pass on this one. It's just, there are other textured shimmering polishes out there that you probably would like better just because this one doesn't get quite opaque enough but you know I sometimes just can't help myself when I see a really good deal so that's kind of what happened here but um, it is a nice pretty punchy pink with gold flecks all throughout it so that's pretty so let me show you how it swatches orange polish for this week is my sinful colors um, that I just recently picked up from the citrus twist collection this is called ring the Bellini um, in that collection there's a bunch of repromotes and then there's three of these shimmering um, very citrusy looking polishes however they're very sheer I like this one because it's orange it's this orange gold combo that's really um, bright and fun however it is really sheer so you might want to wear this over another orange or something just so that you don't have to mess with too many coats um so yeah like i said it's pretty but it's not like the greatest new thing ever so if you don't happen to find these in time to snatch them before the display goes away i wouldn't really be too sad about it but i did grab all three colors so you'll probably be seeing them from me soon Anyway, let's see how Ring the Bellini swatches. My yellow color this week is more of like a yellow um, green duochrome and it's Universe from Julie G. And on the nail wheel this does look more gold than um, green. Did I say this was a yellow green duochrome or did I say gold green? It's not yellow, it's gold. Um, but anyway, it's that fun kind of same duochrome that's in OPI I just bought at the Lizard and um, Chanel Peridot. Um, it's not, I didn't feel like it was quite opaque enough at two coats, so you might need a third or you could wear it over. I wonder how this would look over a black, ooh. Um, so anyway, I picked this up at Rite Aid. That's where you can find Julie G polishes if you're ever wondering, and I think she does a really great job with her brand. And yeah, I like this one, so let me show you.
All right, for green, I'm showing you a Finger Paints polish. This is Leonardo's Lime. As you are probably being able to tell, these most of these polishes are coming from the haul that I just recently had that my little um, nail polish assassin did for me. This is Leonardo's Lime. This is from Finger Paints. I don't know, I'm all over the place today. This actually has a great formula. I found this in the clearance bin on their 50% off um, clearance sale. It was 50% off of 50%. Hopefully, I know some of you had told me that you had no luck in that sale, that everything was cleaned out. I'm so sorry about that. Um, but hopefully, some of you were able to find some good things. This is just like a great formula for a lime. It has a really nice opacity and two coats, super creamy. So anyway, I like this one. Let me show you. Alright, for blue, another polish from that haul. This is my first um, polish I've tried from Sonia Kashuk, and honestly, the only reason I picked it up is because it was on sale. It's called Naval Academy, and it's just a very deep navy blue. So this one actually had a nice formula, a good two-coater. Um, I wasn't disappointed with it in any way. It had a nice formula. I just probably wouldn't buy a ton from this brand because they don't have a lot of original colors or anything. But it was on sale, so I wanted to see what their formula was like. All right, for purple, I'm showing you this Formula X polish that Salem also hauled, and it was called At Your Own Risk, and it's this great, like, bright neon orchid. Um, this one is, I actually, I don't have a lot of polishes from Formula X. I did try, like, their 22 when they first started out with Formula X, you know, those little minis, um, and I was not impressed with a lot of those. They felt a little bit too thin. Like they had thinned out their polishes or something. But I know a lot of people love Formula X. And I did want to say, I don't own a lot of these because I feel like $10 is maybe a little bit excessive for a polish. But I picked this up at Marshall's. And I do like them. I like the, how the cap comes off, how you can screw it off. I, I enjoy that. Um, this polish was probably, again, also a little on the thin side. Which is interesting because it's just like further solidifying my feelings about this brand. However, it's a really pretty like almost neon orchid purple color and or maybe it's violet. I'm not sure. But um, it's pretty but again kind of thin. So anyway, let me show you live application. All right, for my neutral polish today, I'm showing you um, Zoya Lordana, and this is another one of their velvet matte polishes um, that has that like luster from within. I'm wearing it today without top coat, but it just looks amazing with top coat as the rest of the polishes in this collection do. 
This is just a great charcoal gray. Um, some of them in this collection I could get away with one coat, not this one. This one I needed two. Um, that's what I have on today and um, I don't know, I really like it. It's gray, you know I like gray polishes um, much more than silver. I like gray, but anyway, it's nice. I did find this on clearance and I think it was at Ulta. So anyway, let me show you how it swatches. Alright, the next polish that I want to show you is Violet Sugar from Urban Outfitters. This polish is so cool. I'm going to try to get you a close-up here so you can see all the glitter in there. So, so cool. The base of it is definitely like this Violet Cream or Crelly formula. It's, it's a little on the thin side. This one I probably liked best at three coats, but the glitters in here are so cool. It looks like a party in a bottle, but a purple party in a bottle, which is perfect for me. And it has yellow, light purple, dark purple, teal, orange, little tiny red pieces in there. Just so fun. This was sent to me um, by Jessica. She found it at her Urban Outfitters. I still haven't been by to see if they have any more cool polishes at my Urban Outfitters, but this polish made me want to go look. So let me show you how it swatches. Alright, so we've finally arrived at my A plus spot of the week and this one um, you will already know what it's going to be if you paid attention to my Valentine's Day secret swap because I said I was going to include this in my Saturday Swatch Fest and um, this is Cirque Urda and of course it's in my A plus spot. This is such a gorgeous emerald with like this little feeling of blue like at the edges. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it has a little bit in there, but it is so gorgeous, buttery smooth. This, um, I received this as a gift from Ashley Rivera. She blogs at nailsaloveaffair.blogspot.com and it's just so, so gorgeous. It's a great two coater. I loved it so much. Um, I just wanted to wear it all week and that's how I know something is my A plus polish and also it holds a special place in my heart because it's from Ashley and it's from our super fun swap. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this swatches so you can see and yeah, let's check it out. So that was the whole thing. Thanks for sticking it out all the way through to the end. You know, that's what our Saturday Swatch Fest is about. We look at random polishes. We don't look at specific collections. I'm trying to get through the untried polishes in my collection. And we just kind of chat about nail polish and enjoy the fact that we all love it together. And we sound like a commune or something of like polish loving people. 
Anyway, um, thanks for sticking it out. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having a really great one. Um, yeah, what are you doing this weekend? Let me know in the comments below what your A-plus polish of the week was and also what your plans are for this weekend. Um, I really love you guys. I really do appreciate all of you so much. You just fill me with so much positivity throughout the week. I hope that I can bring you that here on my channel too, that you can come here for positivity. And um, yeah, just a little polished love, you know? We gotta get our love on. So and that's all I have for you today. I will see you back next time. Have a really great day and um, that's it. Bye.